All right, so just when you thought the AI race had its clear front runners, bam, XAI drops a major surprise on November 17th, 2025. It's called Grok 4.1, and let me tell you, it is already making some serious waves. And it all kicked off with this pretty bold statement from the head of XAI, Elon Musk. He claimed his new model would, and I quote, change the competitive landscape. Now that's a big promise, right? But the question is, can he actually back it up? Well, it turns out, yeah, he can. All of a sudden, this one single number started popping up and turning heads all across the industry. Number one. And of course, everyone was asking the same thing. Number one at what exactly? And get this. On the Ella Marina text leaderboard, out of absolutely nowhere, Grok 4.1 shot straight to the top. Now, this is a really respected benchmark where real people blindly rank AIs against each other. And Grok just leaped ahead of the giants. We're talking Google, OpenAI, Anthropic. Seriously, nobody saw this coming. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's meet this new challenger that has officially crashed the party. What is Grok 4.1? And what in the world makes it so different? So at its core, Grok 4.1 is XAI's latest large language model. But listen, this is no minor update. No, this is a massive overhaul, and it's aimed squarely at three of the biggest challenges in AI today. Speed, getting the facts right, and that really tricky one, emotional intelligence. And the claims that XAI is making are seriously bold. We're talking three times fewer hallucinations, you know, when an AI just makes stuff up. They're saying it has the highest emotional intelligence score ever recorded. And of course, there's that number one leaderboard spot. On top of all that, people are already saying it's way faster. And the conversations just feel a lot more natural and creative. So let's dive a little deeper here. Let's break down the two features that are really setting Grok 4.1 apart from everybody else. This seems to be where the secret sauce is. These incredible gains in both accuracy and emotional understanding. First up, accuracy. Because let's be real, one of the biggest roadblocks to actually trusting AI for important tasks is its tendency to hallucinate, to just make things up. Well, it looks like XAI decided to tackle that problem head on. And this chart right here just shows you what a huge leap this is. See, the older version of Grok had about a 12% error rate when it came to facts. Not terrible, but not great. Grok 4.1, though, it slashes that all the way down to just 4%. In the world of LLMs, a drop like that is, well, it's massive. It means you're going to get far more reliable answers. So how'd they pull that off? Well, to put it simply, they basically taught Grok to double-check its own homework. It uses some really advanced learning techniques, it has other AI judges score its potential answers for accuracy, and it's constantly running self-evaluations. It's essentially fact-checking itself before it even gives you a response. Pretty smart. Okay, and that brings us to the second and maybe even more surprising breakthrough. While it feels like everyone else is laser-focused on just logic and reasoning, XAI made this huge bet on emotional intelligence, or EQ. And that bet paid off. Grok 4.1 got the highest score ever on the EQ bench, which is this test that measures how well an AI understands complex human emotions. We're talking about its ability to detect empathy, subtle shifts in tone, social nuance, even concepts like conflict resolution. It's designed to understand how you're saying something, not just what you're saying. So why does that even matter? Well, think about it. This high EQ unlocks a whole new level of interaction. It makes conversations feel less robotic and way more authentic. This could revolutionize everything from those frustrating customer support bots to making AI a truly empathetic partner for creative writing or even for mental health support. But look, cool features and big claims are one thing. Let's move on and see how this all translates into hard numbers and real-world performance, because that's where the proof really is. A really clever innovation here is that Grok 4.1 actually has two different modes. Think of it like a car with two gears. You've got tensor mode, which is built for speed, lightning fast, instant answers, perfect for brainstorming or coding. And then you have quasar flux mode. That's your power gear. It's slower, more deliberate. It does the heavy lifting and the deep thinking. And this is the mode that powered Grok's climb to the top. And here are the numbers that prove it. On that Elemana leaderboard, Grok 4.1 hit an ELO score of 1483. That puts it a full 31 points ahead of its next closest competitor, 
You know, in the super competitive world of AI development, a 31-point lead isn't just a small win, it's a statement. So with a new champion crowned, at least for now, what does this all mean? What's next for the future of AI? And more importantly, for us as users, let's get into what happens next. The good news is you can go try this out for yourself right now. There's free limited access available on the Grok website and it's integrated directly inside the X app. And for the heavy users and developers out there, of course there are subscription and API options to unlock its full power. And this integration is a huge strategic advantage for XAI. Unlike other models that kind of live in a separate window, Grok is being woven directly into the fabric of a massive social platform. Imagine an AI that can understand context across public posts, private messages, and real-time global trends. That is a uniquely powerful position to be in. Which leaves us with the big question. Is Grok 4.1's surprising rise to the top just a temporary victory in this fast-moving AI race? Or is this focus on accuracy, speed, and emotional intelligence a sign of a fundamental shift in what we should expect from our AI companions? Only time will tell.